Did you know that you could save money with cornstarch in your kitchen along with also around your home? Well, here's some tips and tricks. If you have a greasy pan or any greasy surface, take a small amount of cornstarch, put it inside, and then just go and scrub it around. Make sure to move it around equally. And then what you can go and do after it's everywhere is you can go and rinse it off. Cornstarch absorbs fat and also oils, so it's a great cleaner. Cornstarch can really help to brighten any silver jewelry or maybe utensils that you have. Take a small amount of cornstarch, put it into a very small amount of water. You don't really want to paste for this, you just want to have a small amount of cornstarch in the water. So after that, go and mix it around, make sure it dissolves. And then go and take any sort of cleaning object that you have. Usually some sort of towel that you don't really care about is the best. Go and scrub this around, and what it's going to go and do is it's going to take off some of the tarnishing from any of your silver utensils. So I just cooked a little bit of bacon, and some of the fat ended up actually burning on the burner. Cornstarch is great because you can go and put it onto a burner, save your burner along with also too. This will pick up a bunch of grease, and it'll take off some of the scorch marks that are already on your burner. Not only does it clean, it also can save the glass that is on your burner. Now onto the next. There is some grease that got onto here. I don't know how it got on here, but it did. There is a small amount of water in the sauce container, so I'm going to put just a small amount of cornstarch into the water to make it into a paste. Now when you make cornstarch into a paste, it can be pretty hard to go and move around and it will get very, very dense. Cornstarch also too is pet safe. You really don't want them still eating it, but it is safe for them to be around. It'll just give them a little bit of an upset stomach if they do end up eating it. Now take the cornstarch and rub it in to wherever you have some grease or maybe a mark on fabric or clothing. And after it's rubbed in, what you're going to go and do is let this sit until it dries. It'll take a bit of time for it to dry. Now you can go and scrape it away with maybe a fork or a knife, and it'll take out stains along with grease from clothing. So maybe you have a stinky shoe. What you can do is you can actually go and make these not smell as bad before you have to go and really wash your shoes, or if you're thinking of maybe throwing out a pair because they're just kind of musty smelling, you can use some cornstarch in the inner portion. So take a pinch of cornstarch, put it inside the shoe, shake the shoe around, and then let it go and sit, and it'll reduce any smell that is inside. Maybe you have a musty book, or a really old book that you like that just smells kind of weird. What you can do is you can go and take cornstarch, open up the book, and as you're opening it and going through the pages, put a very small amount through all of the pages. This is going to make it smell less musty. And what you can do then, just go and shake out any little bit of cornstarch that is there. And the best thing about cornstarch too is it's not going to leave any sort of marks on there because there's no grease in it. So this is a great cleaner for anywhere in your house. Take just about a tablespoon of cornstarch, put it into a cup, and now what we're going to go and do is we're going to go and add some vinegar. You can use either regular vinegar or you can use some of the apple cider vinegar. I usually find that just regular white distilled vinegar is the best to go with because it's not going to go and leave a lot of streaks. So now after you have this in here, you're going to want to go and pour this into the container. Pour it over the sink. I did that because I didn't want this to spill everywhere. Put the top on, screw it into place, and now you can go and clean any of the windows that are in your house. This is a window that is in my kitchen, so of course it has a little bit of built-up grease on it. We do clean these every so often, but when, of course, you're cooking bacon and stuff, it just gets everywhere. And what this will do is this will actually help to go and take off any of the grease that is on windows. And it's a safer and cheaper alternative for cleaning. Cornstarch is great. It can save you money. There are so many things that you can go and do with this. There are more tips and tricks over on HomeTalk.com on how to go and save yourself some money by using cornstarch or also maybe some other home good items that you might already have. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. It's that time of year again, spring cleaning. It's a little elbow grease and I love the way it looks when it's done. I like to keep it as simple as possible and thought I'd share how I spring clean my kitchen with you. Let's start with the refrigerator and freezer. First, I remove any magnets, calendars, and shopping lists. I fill a sink with soapy water, which is dish soap, and some hot water, and I use a clean rag to wipe down all the surfaces, the front, the sides, the top, etc. I use baking soda and a scrub pad to clean up the handles and any other tough marks. For my pantry door, I wipe down the door, the door creases, the molding around the door, and the top ledge above the door with soapy water. For those tough spots, I use baking soda and a scrub pad to clean up those. 
I empty out the inside of the refrigerator, and I mean everything. While doing this, I throw out things that need to be thrown out and things that I won't use anymore. I wash all of the drawers and shelves with soapy water. I also wipe all the sides and the ceiling and the base of the refrigerator and freezer as well. Put only the items you want to keep back in your refrigerator and freezer. Take your time. Now is a great opportunity to reorganize if you want. Use baskets, baking sheets lined with shelving paper on your shelves for easy cleanup and more. I like to get rid of the cobwebs and dust. I have a dust mop on an extendable pole. I go around my kitchen and get all of the ceiling creases, corners, tops of the windows, and I remove all of the cobwebs and dust from my kitchen. For my baseboards, walls, window ledges, and molding, I wipe all of these up with a bucket of soapy water and a clean rag. You'll be amazed at how much food around your table actually hits your walls. For my chairs and bar stools, I wipe these down with a bucket of soapy water and clean rag as well. I wipe the entire chair and bar stool. Light fixtures, outlet, light switch plates. Again, using a bucket of soapy water and a clean rag, I wipe down my light fixture. Mine is hard to come apart, so I do the best I can to wipe them down. Otherwise, I recommend removing the light bulb and the glass, washing the glass by hand, and replacing it all when it's dry. I also wipe down all of the outlet and light switch plates. They tend to collect fingerprints as well as grease particles from cooking over time. You could remove these and wash them in your sink and then replace them as well if you like. Kitchen cabinets. I use Murphy's oil soap and water to clean these. It cleans them, is safe for wood cabinets, and doesn't dry them out. You'll follow the directions on the back to decide how much to use. But basically, it's one quarter to one half cup, depending upon how dirty or greasy your cabinets are. You'll place your desired amount in a one gallon bucket and fill with warm water. Use a rag or washcloth, dip it in the mixture and wring it out, and start wiping your cabinets. You don't have to scrub hard, that's the beauty. Be sure to get all of the grooves and such where the dust is collected over time. You can wipe the outside, the top, inside, the whole cabinet. Windows. I am so excited to share a chemical-free way that cleans your windows and leaves them streak-free. I use two microfiber cloths in water. That's it. The first cloth is the one I dip in the water and wring out. Then I wipe the entire window down with this cloth. The second cloth is completely dry and I use this cloth to wipe up the water. I am so pleased with the results. I'm so happy with the way my kitchen looks when the whole process is done. I hope this inspires you to do some spring cleaning of your own. Thanks for watching.